to questions for oral answer. Question number one, Dr. Peter Sharples. Madam Speaker, to the Minister of Justice, what specific strategies has the government initiated to improve the voter enrolment rate? Given this morning's reported comments by Kiwi Expat Association Chief Executive Ivan Moss, who contends that there are about 750,000 missing voters, bringing the estimated uh, enrolment rate down to 79%. Madam Speaker, uh, the Honourable Annette King. Madam Speaker, I am advised by the Electoral Enrolment Centre that the figures quoted by Mr Moss are purely speculative. However, there has been an increase in the number of people enrolled overseas compared with the 2005 figures, and a comprehensive enrolment strategy is in place. A supplementary question, Dr Peter Sharples. To the Minister. What particular strategies will she be undertaking to encourage the Māori population of Australia, estimated between 115,000 to 125,000, to vote in the November 8 elections? Uh, Madam Speaker, the Honourable Annette Madam King. Speaker, as I said, there is quite a lot of activity undertaken by the Electoral Enrolment Centre, including enrolment update packs sent to all um, overseas voters with postal addresses, voting information sent to all those enrolled with a postal address from the announcement of the election date, and advertising targeting New Zealanders overseas to enrol and update their enrolment detail, and information and enrolment forms provided through overseas posts. We also rely on informal networks, including members uh, like the member who's asked the question and other members of this House, to, in, to advise uh, friends and uh, relatives overseas to vote if they're eligible. Supplementary question, Dr Peter Sharples. To the Minister, what has she to say about the findings of the Te Punikokiri report, Ngā Māori i Te Ao Moe Moea, which found that just under half of the 1,600 Māori living in Australia surveyed in that report wished to remain as citizens of New Zealand only, and what action has the government taken to ensure Māori living in Australia can enjoy that citizenship right? The citizenship. The Honourable uh, Madam King. Speaker, um, all New, Zealand, New Zealanders born in this country have a citizenship right. Uh, and that is what most countries have. If you're born in that country, most countries allow you to have that citizenship right. However, if you and you can have a citizenship right by descent as well. But if you've had no connections with this country um, by, by birth, um, it is a different situation. A supplementary question, Dr. Peter Sharples. Uh, to the minister, what specific strategies will she be undertaking to ensure that young Māori? people aged between 18 and 25 years old, in which it is estimated close to 50,000 may not be enrolled, are supposed to exercise their democratic right to vote. Uh, Madam, Speaker. The Honourable Annette King. Madam Speaker, with young voters, it is the same approach that we take, whether they are Māori or non-Māori, using a variety of medium to get to them, um, because we know they aren't so keen to vote and we need to encourage them. But there are a number of events, information, using um, the new electronic technologies and so on, aimed at getting to young voters. Any further supplementaries? Taito Philip Field. A point of order, is it? Yes, point of order. Point of, I can't hear. It's a point of order? Yes, point of order. Um, Taito Philip Field. Madam Speaker, I'd just like to ask the Minister, uh, perhaps if you could clarify, that, answer, that last answer by the Minister was inaccurate in reference to anybody born in New Zealand is in fact a New Zealand citizen whether we should, she should consider how accurate that statement is. Well, I don't think that's a point of order, uh, but does the member want to have a supplementary question to ask that question? <coughs> yes, supplementary question. Taito Philip Field. Could I ask the Minister, in response to the previous question, whether her statement that every person born in New Zealand is in fact entitled to New Zealand citizenship? In the Honourable Annette King. Yeah, most <coughs> people born in New Zealand are entitled to citizenship. There are some exceptions to that. Any further supplementaries? Then question number two.